Hey guys, Dark Sock on FPV. Uh, we are starting the March month off, March 1st, and I'm working on this one. I've been actually working on this for a little while, getting ready, preparing some things. So we've actually got this uh, Hexa Mover. Now, this is a frame developed by a guy that most everybody knows, uh, goes by the name of Quad Mover, and it's Quad M-O-V-R. I gotta say that I think when I, I think that if I remember correctly, if I go back long enough, this guy was literally the one that made my jaw drop when I saw how his skills of flying, line of sight. The guy flies line of sight like a beast, like a champion, probably best in the world. I'll say best in the world because I don't see very many people able to fly like this guy. And he flies fast, super fast. So not, you know, I, I can only say that it was an honor to, I reached, let me straighten my camera here. I reached out to him a couple days ago and we actually have communicated. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, if I could ever collaborate with him on something, it would be great for me because I feel like I could learn so much. Uh, and I believe that what he did was he passed this on to Armaton uh, frames. This was his design right here. And uh, I saw him fly it a couple years ago, I think in his video. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up as I talk here. Uh, anyways, so I had a customer send this to me and say, look, I need you to hook me up. I want you to take control of it. Put on it everything you think is going to be awesome. And I said, you got it. So get ready. I've looked at a few things and at the end of it, it looks like what we're going to do, I'm going to clean this up because this frame has not come to me in the cleanest. Uh, I don't like I like the frames to be really clean when I work on them. I don't know if somebody tried to color this with a pen or this is the way. I don't know. There's just a lot of mess on it. But I'm going to clean it up. Look at that. So somebody, I guess, went over it with a marker or something. Or maybe that's it was purchased used. I don't really know the story behind the frame. I know that the poor gentleman shipped this one and it got lost in the mail. So he had to wait for a second one. Um, I'm going to kind of recreate this frame at some point. Uh, tweak it. I think the idea is good. Uh, it's got a little bit of twist to it that I don't like. I don't. I don't like this part of a give right here. Uh, I'm not saying that it may that it's going to give like that. But um, you know, it's always easier once somebody's come up with something. It's always easier to go back and try to modify. So I definitely am not taking away from the quality of this and, and the cool, the overall cool design. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's look at this frame. Um, so it's going to sit like this here. And what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little change of mind here. I'm gonna probably use a Dal RC board. Um, and the reason I'm gonna do that is because we're gonna use individual ESCs on here, okay? Uh, I could use a four and one and then add two, but I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep this as balanced and as mirrored as possible. And doing so means that I'm going to put one ESC on each of these arms and then flip it over and put another ESC on each of these arms. So that's going to be six ESCs getting wired into a flight controller. I don't want to have to use a PDB if I don't have to. Um, uh, and so um, I'm going to use like a Dell RC has all the big pads on it for me to be able to solder directly to it. And it's an excellent board as well. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull six Deadpools, uh, six 50 amp ESCs from HDLRC. So I'm going to kind of jump into this. I'm going to make a whole video series on this, but uh, let me go grab a few things real quick and I'll be right. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do here is let's just look at see our layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Deadpool. I figured this would be an awesome look, right? So we're going to put six Deadpools on here and we're going to leave everything symmetrical. That is the most, most important part of this entire build is going to make sure that everything remains symmetrical. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here just to do a layout right because I don't know yet where we want to be so I'm gonna lay out only one these arms seem really thin for what we're gonna be doing but again uh, it's obviously the gentleman has flown it and he I saw him I saw the video and it was it was sick how awesome it is. he flew it so let's just assume that that's all been taken into consideration but I will I will ask permission to try to make a revised version of this I'd like to be able to make one uh, a little bit different, um, but the concept, keep the concept still roughly there. All right, so uh, so here's the deal. So this is an ESC. This is one of the ESCs here. <coughs> Let me open it up. So my thought is, because these are longer ESCs, my thought is that if I run one like this one and run the other one complete on the opposite side, then we would have a pretty even setup here and everything would be evenly distributed in weight. All right, so that being said, the question then goes, well, where do we want to mount this? So my thought here would be to butt this up as close as we could 
to the uh, edge here and give ourselves a little bit of run on the um, uh, for the motor wires, right? So if we were to zip tie these wires, for example, I mean, I'm going to have to. I have to use zip ties for the time being, just so I can get an idea of where we're going to place this. So if we were to zip tie these wires, okay, let's say like, like this, right? Okay. So this one will zip tie and turn in here. And what we would do is tape it, let's say right here. Because the other option is we could cross zip tie these things like this and make the turn more in line. I don't know if that's gonna work though, but could make it more in, no, that won't work. Yeah. All right. Right out. So if we did zip tie this here and come down and take the ESC, mount it here against the edge here, right? I think that would work pretty well. So we're talking about a length of wire, let's say, because we want to get a good tape in right here, I would say. Okay. And then put the ESC, let's say, just right here. So then we're talking about zip tying that down, trying to keep that even, turn it here, and then tape it there. So I'm going to mark it right here. And I do want these to all stay the same length. And so again, just turn it. All right, I'm good with this. I'll measure this here in just a second, but let's just cut it. And they're gonna be staggered by probably about, oh, five mil, uh, maybe less than that. Okay. So if that's the case, I'm gonna mount one right now because I wanna see what it looks like. So let's do that. This is gonna be so cool when it's done. So what we're talking about is uh, what we're going to do, so I'm going to measure, everybody's got my rulers, I wish I would take my stuff, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to walk all the way back there to get my ruler. So let's just say we're gonna go with 60 mil in tape. See how well that covers. That may be too short actually, but we'll see. Okay, because I wanna get a look on this one. This is gonna be as just as much presentation uh, for this particular build. Uh, and so I guess to keep it all symmetrical and identical, we're gonna start from the top. We're going to run that tape right around the front of the where the uh, heat shrink ends from the manufacturer. Okay, I'm going to take another 60 mil. And believe it, I mean, I'm doing this part permanently. This is, even though I'm just doing one motor, this is not going to be taken off. So I'm going to go ahead and might as well at least get one done because the rest will just fall in line. So I'm going to let that zip tie hold that right there for the time being. But actually that won't work. I need to move the zip tie because I want my tape to be right on the edge 
So this one's pretty much I could do from the bottom here because I know that I need this to be right on the edge before I turn it, right? So just like that. I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, there. Now, this will come off. So now we can, what we could do though, is we can imagine every motor looking like this, except that on this one, it's gonna flip underneath. Uh, we'll go inside when it goes to this motor here because the uh, other ESC is gonna be on the bottom. So then what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and strip the wires here. So we're gonna do a, not a big, not a big piece at all actually because the pads are good size. There's no need to worry about it, but we can just do just like this to keep it nice and clean. And then I'm gonna tin those up real quick. So let me do that. use any of this stuff so let me put this back in the box here I need to stay very organized with this build this is not a cheap build and it's actually it's pretty cool actually I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to, I like trying new things and this is I consider this to be kind of a new thing I haven't built one of these before but I am excited to do it and it gives me a lot of ideas for new designs that I can uh, incorporate down the road I always have to give credit where credit is due and this gentleman definitely deserves the credit for developing this one very very exciting design all right so let's tin that up real quick. Okay. Now, in addition to tinning that up, I need to save these, by the way, because these are going to be Consistently what we cut our wires is my third one. We've got one two and I'm missing my third one somewhere in here is a third wire That will match I uh, will find it here in just a minute. I'll put these here for right now. Okay It should come up here eventually. I'm sure Where right now I have no idea. All right, so we have our ESC over here Okay, and I think as I was saying I'm gonna put it right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin this side right here. One thing about these ESCs is they have like an off level in the back, which happens to be about the same height as a piece of electric tape. So I'm going to cut this, not electric tape, I'm sorry, double-sided tape. So I'm gonna cut this double-sided tape just enough to fit this area here, which allows us to sit level, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that then and peel off the sticky part, because this way at least it'll give me a temporary hold. All right, so let me do that real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit there now. I know I've got to put the double side around it and all that good stuff. Just follow me on this for just a minute. Um, all right, so I had measured around here. So what we're gonna do now, Awesome. Okay, and that should allow me to bring the cables down 
and get one good piece of tape right there. And the good news is, is I'll have the other one on the bottom, but I may go ahead and wrap it anyway. Um, so let me see what I'm thinking. If I did something like this, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it anyway, and then I'll wrap the other one. So it'll be basically two pieces of tape, but I wanna, I don't want, I don't want one tied into the other. Sorry guys, phone's ringing, I apologize. So I'll start the tape here. Mm, actually, I may wanna start a little bit higher, but the arm is kinda, of, that it's kinda of weird because it bows out right there, so I don't. All right, give me one. All right guys, sorry about that, but I had to take that call and I didn't want to slow down the work. So I've already put one on. I'm actually just testing this one now to see how I want to make this look. And I think this is going to be the best option here. Uh, it looks like it's going to fit really well. Uh, I do want to try to keep it as centered as possible. So what I've done is I've used a heat shrink and I've heat shrunk the wires here that go over the carbon fiber. And so now what I want to do is figure out where I want to cut these. And it looks like I'm going to cut them like right about here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my, because we're going to have tape there. So I'm going to try to mark this just like that. And I'm going to bring in these wire cutters right here. And let's cut those. Now these three I need to keep aside because these are going to be for the motors that are wrapping around. put that tape on there again. I just realized that when I put the flux on there, it, it kills all the um, sticky uh, adhesive from the tape. So that tape's gonna unwrap here in a second, but that's all right. Let me just go ahead and tin this up. All right, now if we can get this laid out properly and get it taped down, we're going to know exactly how this looks here in just a second. And let me get that tape out. I think I might take this tape a little bit longer because it's got to go over the other tape too. So I'm going to give this about, I'm just going to overshoot it to about right here. And then we're going to get a pretty good idea if this layout's going to work. And we want to make sure that that heat shrink part right here is good and it is so now let's go ahead and just make sure these wires sit flat just like that gonna come out nice I think that's gonna come out real nice all right that's clean right there the entire wire is protected around the carbon fiber so that's nice too I'm gonna go ahead and replace this since I got that flux on there and it made it it got in the way of the adhesive oh boy this is gonna become a messy desk here I'm gonna have to keep it clean as we go I'm 
Okay. Come on. All right. Let's go ahead and put this back on here. Just like that. All right. Now, let's get the heat shrink ready for this side. So, turn it over. Excellent. So let's heat this up now. Should be almost a mirror image of it, and it is. I think that looks great. Oh yeah. Okay, so I like the look. I think everything looks good on this one. I think what I do want to do though is I am gonna use some more tape. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna use a wide one. I think I'm gonna go with a thinner tape now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut. <sighs> See, we have, so we got, let's say 20 plus 10, so 40, 60, so 60 will be one wrap, 120, one. I think I'm just gonna go the whole length of the ruler here and just see if it's too much. Obviously, I'll cut it back for the next one, but I wanna make sure that this is secured and it looks, it's aesthetically pleasing, I guess is the word. That's what they say, right? Hey, there's my wife. Hey, Mama, I'm just doing this video. I'll be done in just one second. Nice to have you back. Landing okay? Yes, sir. All right. So if we wrap this around, let's say... Oh, I want it straight, and that's not straight. So let me see. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do another one. No. All right, Mama. I'll just put this piece of tape on and I'll stop the video. No, no, this is the this is the no, this is the whole build. I'm gonna be here for a few hours, so. Yeah, I love that. So there you go, right there. So look at that. I mean, that just it looks mean. It looks clean. This is what we want. 
Okay, I see nothing wrong with this at all. I actually, I think it looks very clean the way it is. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep that same, uh, that same look throughout the entire build and then see what we can come back with maybe for some LEDs down the road, all right? So I'm gonna pause this, go have some lunch with my wife real quick and I'll be right back and we'll do some more work. All right guys, back from lunch now. It's time to get on to the next one. So we're gonna put these two away, get this put away and let's get started with the next motor. Here we go. So we're gonna open this back up here. Take these, put everything back. Holy cow. We're gonna do the same thing again, basically. Ooh, these holes are a little smaller, but that's okay. Oh, he asked me today if they'd come in, and I said no. So I guess I didn't realize they had. They got here yesterday. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah. Where? Here or at the house? At the house. Okay. Huh. These are all 310, right? Should be. Okay. Just put them aside for next time. Hey, can we get another one of those things that cuts the paper and stuff? Because yeah. it would make my life easier than having to measure this stuff every darn time. Yes. Thank you, madam. So I guess we'll measure this at 120 and just start cutting it in halves. Because isn't that what we did? Didn't we do 60? Uh, yeah, about 60. So there we go. So let's just at least do that. Okay, which is going to be right here. So we could do this in halves. I don't know if this is going to save me any time, but all right. So we got that motor on, right? So here we go. Don't forget, I took those ESCs, babe. So you can take the motors and ESCs back whenever you have time. Okay. I grabbed them. Had I known, it would have saved me a bunch of time. I didn't think about it. I wonder if that'll stick nice. Oh, never mind. Let me see. 
I don't know if this will stay on here, but I'm just gonna get an idea of what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, and that's why we're not gonna use it. So this measures at 15. So we're going to cut 15 mil off of each one of these, which means these are 70. So we're going to take them to 55 right there. Okay. All right, now here's the ESC. Right. that there so in case we have any splatter it doesn't get on the ESC so let's just excellent all right now we're going to turn the ESC up
Perfect. Ma'am? Yeah. For analog, it does. What? For, oh, oh, you're talking about on the um, the school one? Yeah, but like somebody ordered, somebody not in the school ordered it, and they want it with an XM plus. But can we use the the H the other boards that we've been using? I think the other boards are what's on there. I don't understand. No, when it shows up, can you click here? Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me just help you out with this, okay? okay. Because I, I, I think I know where you're going with this, but I'm not quite sure. So let me just help you out. So I want you to go in that plastic bin right there. Uh -huh. And you're going to find a board already wired and ready to go. Yep, look in there with all those bags. Yeah. And one's going to say good. Okay, this one. That one. Got Use it. that one. Okay. And you're good to go. VTX, though. VTX, you can use the uh, new one. Oh, I can? Okay. Just go ahead and use the new one and then make a note for me to change it. I think it's changed. I thought it was changed because the counts are off on it. Like well, when you when you go to the one that's not the school one, it's like, click here if you want to adjust. When you click that, it takes you back to the V1 page where you adjust, not a V2 Right, page. because a V2 isn't for the school. I mean, V2 isn't for the people. Okay. V2 is for the school. So what did they order? The V1, right? Yeah, the V1. The, the V1, V1, and I'll, I'll make a note for me to change the V1. Okay, so I'll just need to, the VTX wire and everything's good on here. I just need to take that VTX out, right? Correct? Oh my God, what did they do here? You mean take it out of inventory? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Is there any on any of those drones over there? No, we use all of them. What about all the motors and stuff? The motors, I know there's some over there. I, oh, I know, but there's some over there. There's a ton over there. Anyways, I was just saying, like, whatever. I just want to get those used to. I think I've used all the VTX ones. Okay. I think I used those for uh, someone else ordered. And Brian didn't bring any, right? No, he did not. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it out of the That's fine, that's fine. And then just remind me and I'll adjust it, okay? okay. All right, so good. So we got this one here. Tell you what, man, this thing's looking like a beast. This is going to be crazy. Yeah? Yeah, I love building stuff like this. I had a conversation with the guy who does this. Uh, he's he's pretty awesome. Anyways, I asked him. I said I told him I want to work on it. I want to collaborate with him on a build because I like his designs. They're very unique. The guy that makes that room. The, he well he the guy that designed it. I yeah. guess yeah. It's nice it's people that think outside the box. I think that's the mail. Can never tell. They drive up like the back of the building now, which is kind of freaky. No, I mean like they drive up the other side though. Like I can hear them now doing it. If they come at night, it's kind of like somebody's creeping up on them. Yep, I got those Hellcat engines in those things. <laughs>
remember how long that tube was. I don't want to cut this too short. So I guess worst case we'll just cut it off and do it again. So we left a little bit of space there and then this came around. We heated it up. So that should be okay. So let's go ahead and just let's get these to at least heat right about here. I think that's about fair. up again so it'll bend over nicely around that carbon fiber. Hand. Once that cools that should hold nicely to the shape. Perfect. Then we turn it here and this time we cut that longer strip of tape. Everything on? Mm -hmm. I'm just giving it a squeeze. I think I'm going to start going back to doing live videos, babe. Yeah. Yeah. So, just giving you a heads up that I don't know when I'm going to start it, but I want to start it pretty soon because I kind of like being able to answer questions anybody's got while they're doing it. Yeah. But it does make it longer. So, I'll do it once I get caught up, I guess. That'll be good. Yeah. Because it's nice to be able to chat with everybody and see how everyone's doing. And Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm going to need one of those boards from you, too, at some point. Which one? Uh, I'll take the Dow RC. Okay. I do. I think that one's going to be perfect for what I need. Hey, did you know something I found out, which I maybe I've told you, and this is like one of those things that I think everybody but me knew. Do you know that the writing on tape is so that you can measure your cuts? Yeah, so it says Gorilla on here, and if you cut it the exact same spot, your cuts come out the same, same length. You don't have to measure it. Uh, I do. How many you need? Three. Yeah, here. Make a list, though, and tell me because we need to order a few thousand of those. Well, we have a bunch of different colors. I know, but black is what we need, so. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, neither did I. I learned it. See? I caught you something today. You're going to learn something. I caught you something today, too. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Uh-huh. But I caught you something. What did you teach me? Okay, I'm not. I'm not buying that. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. You taught me something. My God, you taught it. Uh, uh, you're right. I think my little patent idea for that's going to be would be awesome. The pins, remember? Don't say it though. I don't want anybody to know. It's highly classified. I come in like the Tasmanian devil. I make noises like blah blah blah, blah and I throw shit everywhere. That's my way of telling our inventory manager, you, to organize your stuff better. When the inventory manager gets out the stuff for you, blah, 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 blah. You just don't blah, blah, blah. Talk to the hand girl. 
Huh? Miss Raymond is her partner. And if she was here working, I wouldn't have had to do it myself. Facts. Facts, Jax. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We need to get Fox News up in here playing because I want to know what's going on in Ukraine. I feel like by the time I get home, the whole thing could have gone haywire. Hey, where are the M2 nylon tops that are corroding? Don't, don't, don't come at me like that. Well, I mean... Woman? Did you hear them? I don't think so. Back to your side of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did this last time and I think we're here. Yep, I know. That's why I'm not getting involved. But there's a real knot. Stuff could be sitting on a spoon as you're about to feed yourself and you wouldn't see it. In my drawer here. Oh, and you need to put that on the thing too. We need to order more of those round organizers. Yeah. We got a gajillion of the square ones though. I know it's getting better I don't want to do it too quickly I don't want to like put myself in shock you know clean desk like overnight and I could have a heart attack what what who's writing me what what Hey, how many M pluses do you have? You have a lot? I'm, I'm, I'm telling Free Sky to send me some XM plus and some XMs. What? I definitely need both more. XM plus and XM? Yeah. Is there any other thing you need a lot of? Because I overpaid yesterday by quite a bit. I gave an extra thousand more than what I was supposed to pay for my big order. And so I'm just going to fill up that grand with something. RXSR? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you hear me? What? The XM is this is this a DIY or what? Plug in plug in pilot? Yeah, plug in pilot. So we wire it, just like you would have any other one. Yeah, we would solder, right? You you, you would solder the plug to it. That's all. I'm just making sure. Talk to me, Goose. Can, do you mind if I record you one day doing it? 
I think that it would be really cool for people to see your talent in that. I mean, you're you're really awesome at soldering. It's 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 kind of it's kind of cool because you're new to it in a sense, and you're like really better than a lot. So I just think it's cool to let people see it, and especially girls. Like I want girls to be more involved. You know, like when they were here from the school. Yeah. It's kind of like it was like all boys and two girls, and I know there'd be more girls in here if it was if there was just more girl presence. So I think that you could help that happen. Plus I notice that when you're in a video, it's like 500 more people watch. <laughs> Guys are so sad, like man. But I guess that's the way it is. Because my life's hot. <sighs> All right. Keep trying to keep this tape straight. Uh, come on. Straight as possible, I guess. Okay, man, beast mode is in the making. One more set of motors, and this sucker's done. Okay, yeah, you mentioned fewer shoes, but not amounts. So how many you want to have each of those as well? Uh, RB30. Let that guy know that the RB30s will be coming in. Last set of motors, three hours later. Hey, hey, yo, brother Hobby. There's no prop, there's no prop nuts on this thing. This motor open, brand new, nope. Boo, what the heck, man? Look, see, I'm missing prop nuts. I got no nuts. Oh well. Luckily they give you what the hell? I really am missing it. That sucks. Bye bye. I'm gonna take both these screws out at least then. This way I can put that in here because I know I'm gonna need it for the next two motors. Put this in with the other ones. Down one prop nut. Alright, brother Hobby, we're gonna be talking. That's at least five hundred dollars worth of emotion or damage. Ooh, this thing's been chopped up right there. What the hell? All right, anyways. Been a lot of helicopters flying today. Let's just get the other one mounted so we can get these screws out of here.
You all right? What? You all right? Do you have any RXSRs in stock? Yes. Okay. There's a down. Thank you, madam. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Woo! Man, I tell you what, if I could just listen to music while I do this and Google not jump down my butt for or YouTube not jump down my butt for playing copyright, whatever, when I make a video, it's so much better. I mean, these people should be like, I don't know. It's not like I'm trying to make money on their damn music. I'm just trying not to go cuckoo. Oh my God, this thing needs to quit spinning. Alright, coming down the home stretch. Here we go. Tuck it there, tuck that one there, and leave it straight just like this. One, two, three, four, and right there.
Flex these buds up. Beautiful. Beautimus. Beautimus. Look at that. Oh. Yo. It would be in that bin, I think. One that has no label, a bunch of colored stuff. Oh, well, no, hold on. I don't know. I, I couldn't answer that right now, actually, because I think I'm thinking of something else.
Tim, does your line not ring anymore? Uh, they have to press my extension. I don't I haven't had any calls yet. Alright, let me take this. Alright, sorry guys, I was trying to get that call, but it hung up before I could get to it. Okay.
Has he gone? Do you verify he's gone to pick him up already? Can you just make sure he hadn't forgotten? Oh, he did? Okay. Oh, that's right. You have that app, huh? Yeah. I keep forgetting you guys can do that. Holy moly, that's it. Look at that, babe, that looks, that's beautiful. Came out real nice. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well, I, said I, I, I know what it is, but I can't find it. Okay, well, I'm enjoying my moment here. It's not about you right now, so you just have to wait until I'm done enjoying my moment. Thank you. All right, I love you. Where are you going? I, I'm done, I can't, I can't get that one, and I've got to. Are you leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna go see that one. Okay, baby. I'll see you at home then. I love you. I, got else I love you too. All right. Great work today. Huh? No, I'm being serious. Great work today. What's wrong with you? All right. Well, take stuff from me. I mean, I'll, I'll work on some RMAs. But it's the last night for the boys to be here for the week until until the weekend. So I don't want to spend too much time on work. Okay. All right. So now we are at the point where we've got the motors on. This thing looks like beast mode all over again. This is awesome. Make sure there's no debris on here. All right. Probably before I get going with anything else, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this little mess we got going here. Especially these little pieces. Are you locking me out? I need to get in there. Dang, girl, don't want me in her inventory room. Dang. Uh huh.
I just need something to drink. Leave me something. Do I have anything left in it? No. No, well then I guess so. No, there's, there's bottles in there. Where? There, there's just blue ones that you don't like. I'm not drinking out of this. Okay, I can pour it in the thermos. That's fine. Hey, drama. Me. Listen, you said you were leaving, and we're leaving on a good note here. Don't start talking crap as you leave. It's put me in a bad mood, and then you're not here to take it out on. That's not fair. All right, we're going to get rid of all these extra pieces. Make sure the desk is clean. Don't need any debris getting stuck in those motors or any stuff that could be, uh, you know, with the magnets on the motors get jammed up in there because that's just going to make for a bad day. Throw all this crap out. All right, now. Let's bring this back and see where we're at, shall we? Okay, thermos is filled up. Thanks, Mama. Love you very much. Landon's calling me. Hold on. Uh-oh. He's calling me. What could this mean? Landon? Yeah. Well, what would happen? I don't think he meant to call me. Yeah, I think you're right. What's up, big dog? Okay. All right, dude. See you. Peace. Bye. His rainbow code. What? His rainbow code. Oh. You know, vital stuff. Yes. Oh, I love you. I love you. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Uh, please don't forget to sand those tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mama. Love you. Love you. Yeah. It's not happening today, honey. It'll happen tomorrow. Okay. Love you. Love you, honey. Do I have keys? Huh? Do I, have, yeah, I do have keys, I think. Make sure that door is set to lock, okay? Lock. Thanks, babe. See ya. Love you. Love you. Nah, nah, nah. Now the party starts. No, just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So here's my thought on this, right? Because this, I love this board, by the way. I, I, I'm going to tell you that. I love this board. And it's got, it's basically a big enough board to house. Look, it's got the pads all over that I need on the bottom and the top. So I can literally take the bottom motors and mount them to the bottom of the, of the ES or the flight controller and the top ESCs and mount those to the top of the flight controller. And this should sit nicely, very nice. It's kind of weird. I don't know what's happened here, but whoever put this arm in, you've got to be kidding me. Hold on a second before I lose my mind. Well, now I'm not happy. So apparently when whoever did it put this arm in, they put this one in backwards. So the groove that is supposed to fit over this area here is on this side, which means I cannot mount the flight controller right here because there's a piece of that arm sitting in my way. And that really sucks because to change it, I would have to take this arm, take it off, then take the motors and flip them around and all the work I've done basically, damn it, why, 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 why? Mm.
this crap? Ooh. <sighs> All right, so this arm is supposed to go in this way, and when it's put in properly, it leaves the space open so that you can mount either a 30 by 30 or a 20 by 20. Nothing like having to redo a bunch of work. to see where this rabbit hole takes me because now I also have to turn this over and move the arm to the other side so now I'm like really curious as to how much of this gets to stay and how much of it I've got to modify <laughs> something tells me this is gonna end badly for me but I'm gonna wait and see all right so now damn it this arm Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, even if I flip it, it's going to be at the wrong ESC. I don't think this is going to matter much, so let me just. easiest solution right here. Let's hope it is. Let's hope I'm not missing something completely obvious that's going to make me even more upset. <sighs> now where the hell did I put those screws? Oh, easy. They're stuck to the motors. I can deal with that. Should do the same. Yeah, must be one more somewhere. be here eventually oh no that's it there's only those two never mind so let's just keep it like this Can't be right. 
can't be right. I mean, that doesn't match, does it? Yeah, I guess so. God, why use such a shallow screw? For such a, I don't, I don't like that. I'm gonna replace all of these. That's too, that's way too shallow. That screw doesn't even get to the end of the. It's not. It's got no teeth to grab. Oh, come on. All right. So I'm gonna replace these just by, by looking at this. There's no way this could be the right screw. There's no way these screws can can be what was recommended because look, they barely reach, man. They're 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 way too small. Well, let's go ahead and if we're gonna do this. I mean, I can't. I want this customer to get something awesome, and that's not going to work with that. So let's see. These are where did I put that thing? Well, I don't even know where I threw it. Whatever. Let's look at twelve. How far are we? I think twelve would be ideal. Actually, might be a little, little long, like just a tad, like one millimeter long. But let's see. That's going to be. A, that's going to grab a lot of teeth on that, uh, pr on that pressed nut. So. Uh, I don't see any problem. Oh, I mean, that's actually flush. Look at that. See that right there? That's, look at what they left you. I mean, they give you nothing. What is that, like an eight? It can't be an eight, but it's definitely short. It's a nine. Okay, that's gonna go in the garbage. It's a waste of time. Oh, this is actually a kind of a error in the and a blessing because by doing the by seeing this we were able to even check the screw. See I, the frame came assembled, so I didn't check that part of it. But now that we had to take this apart, I was able to see that. And yeah, it's definitely something that needs to be I would definitely have wouldn't have wanted anybody to have a frame the short screws I'm just trying to figure out how it even ended up like that to begin with that's not good but oh well we see it we fix it that's the rules okay
All right, so now we can check the rest because I want to get all those screws replaced with ones that should be, which ones would, that would be better, which means the longer ones that will have more grip. All right, that was a small little setback, but it actually turned out to be a good thing because now we can go and check the rest of the screws. So let me get this off. Sorry guys. Okay, so let's see, this one we did. So we're gonna go look at this one next. Hopefully I can make these changes without having it. Oh, this one's stripped, wonderful, that's even better. Jeez, oh, that ain't coming out. All right, so let me see, can I get this one at least? I, I can get that one. So let's take this one out, hopefully without messing up what I've done. I have to come back and revisit that strip one because there's not much I can do on the strip one without causing more damage, perhaps. So let me just see if I can get some of these out. Holy cow, this one, what is this? I mean, look at that. That's way too small. It took one click and it was done. My concern now is I want to check where the arm arms bolt in because that's press nuts as well and I'm curious if they used no actually these are all the way through awesome finally okay gee whiz that was a lot of time spent just on that all right let's get back to looking at this board um, so the question is Actually, I need to look that up, I think. Let's see if they have a... Okay, makes sense. Let's try that instead. So, what I'm looking at here 
is the potential to use this and then come underneath with these here you see that's my goal so I mean the signal I can deal with right I can I can definitely make something happen with the signal wires that's not the issue the issue right now is going to be if I can bring if I heat shrink them and bring them up Okay. I mean, to keep it as a super clean build, that's the focus here. So I want it to be super clean. So if the board lays out like this, then I want to bring one there. I could make that work easily, that would be nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we are going to see how much wire we've got here. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring them all up on the same side. Okay, so just like this for this one. And that way we'll use one piece of uh, heat shrink and that should give us an uh, ample amount to be able to solder with, and it does. All right, so let's get some heat shrink and get going. I have some heat shrink. Here's Rahil. So let's take some heat shrink and see what we got going here. Main thing is to see how much we need. So if we're going to be running it like this, right, we want to get it from here. We want it to get it all while it's at the carbon fiber. Let's see if that is 45. Let's see if 30 does it. 30. Okay, so what we want to do here, 30 is going to be too long, so let's go to 25. We don't need this much signal wire, so we can at least cut some of that down. We know that's way too long. So let's look at this. I was to do this here, leave everything like it is, but sh heat shrink it. side to go through and we'll take the whole thing through okay just like that okay now what I want to do here is I want to heat shrink it again I hit it with heat right now make sure that it holds to this angle okay that's gonna work nicely 
nicely, I think. There's one. So we came up with 25 as the golden number. So 25. Two. It's got a screw hole right there, so we can't go that way. So let's go through this one. Then. All right, now that we've got this part done, we've got our orientation set this way. We have no reason for these to be this long, so we're gonna go ahead and we can start trimming these up just a little bit. So we'll have all this stuff flapping around. There's one, at least on these. And then we're gonna end up trimming them more, but I mean, I just wanna kinda of get everything a little organized. There's two. next thing is going to be to mount the board, right? So we're going to put the board oh, somewhere like this. Uh, okay, so now we have to see. Got to make this fit. We 
might be able to cross these over like this. Get this. Yeah, I think that might work actually. Let's well let's experiment here. So I don't there's so, something I well it's definitely it's not a criticism, right? But it's like uh, I don't like unless they give you spacers. I, I'm going to use some of mine. I don't like going through a gap like that because when you tighten it down, it starts bringing the carbon fiber down quite a bit and starts squishing it. So I think I'm going to use these spacers right here. That looks like four mil. Hopefully, I have some. Of course, I don't have any four mil in here. And I, this is definitely because it's not. Can you see? There's no way. Is that three mil? Oh my gosh! Never mind. No, it's got to be four mil. Um, all right, let me go see. Let me get some four mil spacers, I think. To replenish mine anyway I was out so we'll put some in here drop half on the floor because that's always good and we'll figure out the rest I'll get them later okay so let me see that should fit right oh yes perfect okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try is let's start up here I'm gonna feed this right here okay I don't know what size screw I want to use yet, but let me just start with a 16 just so I can get an idea of where I'm at. I'm automatically going to lose 8. 16 is going to be too short. Put it off the bat, that's too short because i got to put a VTF on top. So let's get 20 and 318 and 320. Here we go. Let's try that, see if that's going to be okay. Perfect. Then we'll do the next one. This is going to be a trick. Oh, this one doesn't need it. That's right, because the arm is there. So cool, don't need that. So we don't need that one. That works. So I can put a bunch of these away since I don't need them all now. Just went from having none to having too many. Awesome. Spin the prop. Or I mean, spin the quad. Just as good. All right. So that's the second one. Okay. Third one again is going through. So only the only two of these are going to need to have spacers. Okay. Come on. Let's get some momentum on this thing, and I can get this screwed in much faster. <laughs> knocking the crap out of my stuff on my desk. All right, so I need just one more. I'll put that here, and I need to go get, because it's the wrong screw, I'm gonna go get one more. Let me throw that out. What time is it? Oh, good, I'm gonna go home soon, spend some time with the kids. Uh-oh, what's this? <laughs> Big deal, you think I care about Major League Baseball right now? Wrong. People aren't getting rich enough. Eesh.
Beautiful. Just hammer the hell out of it. That always works. Okay, there's the front. Let's move all these out the way. All right. So my goal is that this sits here. Now this one's gonna be a little difficult, but I think it'll actually it might be okay. This one might be okay because I could spread these between the two, except that one's gonna be there. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm wondering if it is better if I split them. I'm starting to think it is. So now I'm having, I think I'm gonna have to redo this now because I think at the end of the day, it's better if I have them each go up the section on their own and I'll send the signal wire up. Uh, so I'm gonna send the signal wire, I'm gonna send this here, right? And this one, I'm gonna switch these if I can, because if I'm not mistaken, the ground is gonna be on that side. So, wonderful. Now we need to do a new thing. It never ends. So let's try that and see. And this time I'm only gonna do one of them. That way if it's not gonna work, I'm not gonna sit here as a matter of fact. Let's just do this. I'm gonna send this one on the side. Okay. And we're gonna send this one on the other side. Now we're gonna hit heat shrink both of these. And here we go. This is more like it. Because now this is going to fit nicely right here, so... Oh, for the love of God, just get in there and quit screwing around. Whew, this last one's kicking my butt, guys. Come on now. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.
So 20 is not going to be long enough. So before I go and do much more, because like I said, we still have a VTX to add and the spacer for that. So I'm going to take this up a little bit more, but I'm going to do it one screw at a time here so that it doesn't all fall out. So let me go get another one. Five mil, and we'll do a socket instead. So let's go here. Okay, there, that should be good. All right, now, so the thought here is, if I was to take this one, right, it's got the thing on it, so if I took this, and I stripped that part, and then came in here, I mean, I guess I could have stripped it before I passed it through. Strip this part, right? And then, let me take this out and just keep that wrapped here for now. The flux pen.
All right, so that's the example, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? And then we know the suspense. Oh my God, what did I just do? Holy cow. Didn't even realize what I was doing there. Hold on. I realize now that I just put this. Oh, I was like, why is this so easy, this one here? Yeah, it's because I meant to do this one here. <laughs> my bad. I gotta get my helping hands, which these ones are about to fall apart, so I'm gonna need to get me a new set anyway. I've got some here in inventory that I'll borrow from myself. Ah, oh, forget it, this thing sucks. Let's get rid of that, and let's just kind of try to line this up here. That'll work. All right. So what I'm thinking is, if I do it like this, if I can get this to just stay just long enough for me to finish soldering it. Yep. Now, I'll probably have to lower the screws, obviously, now, because I realize that the height of the screw is going to be too high for me to be able to do much work like this the cables are too short but there's one okay so I could fold that over right and then so we've got one ESC now wired and all we have to do is just get the signal wire wired, which is gonna be easy that's that's an easy part all right so now we can do the next ESC and I said I want to do one at a time so my goal here is to get the bottom ones done so that I don't have to keep so I can just kind of move on from this and so uh, I think what we're gonna do here is we have the negative on this side and the plus here and I think that's what we're gonna do here is let's take these wires out now right just like that and okay so let me just spin these back up okay and let's look at this board again because I always forget now so when I put this board down like this we have the ground on these are gonna be opposite so the ground is gonna go up here and the positive is gonna go on the other side. So the, oh, I tell you what, this gets so confusing after a while. Put this in this, okay? This one's coming here. So on this side is ground, on this side is positive. So let me just put this up through here. I gotta put the heat shrink, but I wanna make sure I get this right and remember it properly. All right, so we're gonna take the ground. We're gonna go this way. We're just gonna basically do the same thing, cut it in half. There we go. Let's take the ground and signal and all that, go on one side. Okay, and this time we're crossing over. So it's gonna go like this. So let me go ahead and heat this up first. You might as well just do one at a time. If I did go straight though, if I did go straight up, then the ground could still reach here and the positive could still reach here, and I'd probably have enough. You no, know, tell you what, I'm just gonna send them straight through. And I think I could make them fit just going straight through without having to cross them over. Just get that to go through. Okay. And I think I can. I'm pretty sure I can make that work. So let's just see what we got. So when this one comes up, all right? So what we can do is we can tap it into the positive. This is going to start to get to be a very tight fit. Um, but yeah, we could tap it into this positive here. I'm wondering if I can bring it around and just come up, uh, uh, on the top of the board here. So let me, let me put this one down real quick. Let's put this down. And let's get this to sit. Let's see how far we can really get these wires to stretch. Well, I think I could actually. Let me see. I bring this around here. 
I would rather not. I would rather have it go right here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have to do it while this board is like, I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to have to make this work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this wire a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to tin it. Because once you start adding these, this board's not going to be able to raise much more. I mean, like, it's it's going to be pretty tight. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tin that up because that's the positive, right? Yep. And then this one's going to be the ground, right? Yep. So I'm going to come under here and do this one. Like I said, I know it's going to get so tight, I'm not going to be able to fit. The last one's going to be the hardest one. So let me just see if I can tin this part up. There we go. And I'll tin. Let me tin that wire up. Tin that pad up, and then it's just a matter of holy moly, get that to fit. That is the million dollar question. That's a tight fit, folks. Good lord. That's one. All right, so now what we gotta do is get this black wire and tin this too. Uh, so we go ahead and strip that one a little bit. I'll bring this back through and do it up here. I got the perfect grip on it, I hope. Well, you see, looks like we got it there and there. Bring our signal wire up and that should, oh yeah, that sits nicely, see? That's beautiful. So now we take our signal wire and we'll uh, this one and we'll make it go when I plan where the signal wire is gonna go I've got to look at this a little bit more to see where I want to run this section So I'm not gonna worry about that though. The hardest part is getting The bottom ESC's wire. So now I've got one left. Okay, so As bottom ESC is gonna basically Be my <laughs> it's gonna be the headache for me because I just used that one positive under the board for the other ESC and that's the one that's closest to this one. So this one I may have to swap. I don't know yet. We're going to have to see what we're going to do here. So let's see what we got. All right. So on this side of the board, we have V positive. And on this side of the board, so that's positive there. And that's positive here. So I can send this here for the positive. Okay, that much is easy. So let me just pull that through so I can make sure. And that is positive right there. And that's positive where I attach that one. So then I've got ground 
on this side. If that one's going all, all the way to there. And I think maybe I can get them both to go to the same spot. That would be pretty sweet. So let's try that, because if we get that, we're done. The hardest part's over with. Let's go ahead and tin both sides up, because we know we're gonna have to do that. And let's get our heat shrink around it. We know we're gonna have to do that too. So here goes. Okay, now let's prep the board. That one's gonna be a little harder to get to, but I think I can do that, we'll see. Be some crazy tricks, but hey, might as well. It's gonna be fun. I'd be really happy if this comes out well. So here we go. All right, we got the pad tin for the positive. Getting to this ground is really a pain. I don't know how I'm gonna, it's like so awkward. Uh, I need this to kind of stand up, let me see. Let's see if I can put this here. Uh, I need it to stand up like, oh, that might work. I don't need tweezers because I can't get my fingers in there. So let's see. Come on, goose. Talk to me, goose. Let's see if I can just put it on the iron cell. Oh, beautiful. All right. Time for some uh, heat shrink. Let's get these 20 mil screws put over there. All right, because I just want to see how this is going to go, I want to get the harder one done first. So I'm going to use these tape rolls to hold this up, I think. Let's try that. This is going to be the difficult part right here. So i got to be able to get to this somehow. I don't know how I'm going to reach that, but I don't know if I can reach it. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's not going to hold. Come on. Oh, well, I think that got on there super good. Let's see. Let's try the positive now. Then we can inspect it under the microscope. Dude. Oh, actually, I think maybe I can get this one just like this. Wow. Look at that. I'm 
gonna I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but I'm just not 100% sure of that ground one. So I'm gonna try to mount this in such a way to where I can at least make sure. I feel better there. All right, so let's see it. Here's what we got, guys. Um, so there's the positive. There's the ground. Then we have the positive here, ground here, positive here. I mean, I think that we are done with that. Yeah. All right. So let's get the screws put back in. Let's get everything put away to make sure that we've got everything fitting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in and put some silicone under here. All, all here. So as you can see, like right here where you can see the wire, I'm going to put black silicone here that's going to seal this off and make sure that these can't ground out, that the positive can't do anything, right? I mean, I'm not going to leave them just like that. Obviously, I wouldn't want to, and I want them to be secured. So I'm going to silicone these in to the frame, basically. It's going to come out nice. This much, this much I can promise, Jumain. He's going to go look Jumain. All right. So this, we have now soldered... Now we can have some fun and get the rest of our ESC started real quick and just see how clean this is going to look so clean. Maybe I can bring tear to my eye. One eye, one tear. All right. So let's do it. Let's prep it up. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get everything on the top row now done. Then we'll figure out where we're going to put the bottom row signal and ground. But let's knock this out first, okay? Start here.
Wow, that came out nice, man. That is clean. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so for this one here, I really think that we'll just split this up. I mean, kind of seems like a cool idea. I don't see any reason why not to. Um, so we'll give, uh, let's see, we'll go positive here. Okay, let's mark that. Go ground here. Let's mark that. Okay, then we'll take the signal wire from here. That's two and four. Uh, I figure because we've got this one here, I may just I'm gonna get one of these to run over to here. So I'll take I'll take the top one and I'll run it to four since it's closer on this side. I've got a little bit I've got a little bit well, I say that. No, maybe not. Let me see. If I bring this here and I run this here. See? Yeah, see? So if I do that, I'm gonna play this on top though, just to keep it safer. So I'm gonna leave this on top here. And what I'll do is go ahead and tin that uh, signal pad right here. I'll tin the positive too, because I'm not sure if we'll ever use it, but I might as well tin it. So I'm gonna tin that, and then what I'm, <coughs> what I'm gonna do here <coughs> is I will run this one here. So let's just unwind that, just about like that. And the ground will go back here, and we'll just go ahead and mark that right now as being right there. Okay, and I'll tin this up real quickly. Okay, that's 10. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and put that down right now. Get that out of the way. So let me put this ground wire here. Just kind of let it melt it to the other ground. There we go. Perfect. Now as far as the signal goes, signal wire is going to be cut just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. It doesn't need to be that long. So let's cut it like right here. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's gonna be good. Turn that up. Ground just one more time, get enough ground around that signal. All right, and let's just tap that on there. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. All right, so that one's done. So then the last one is going to be this one, and we'll cross these over again. And what we'll do is we'll We'll put the red one, we'll cut the red one here. Okay, cut the black one here. All right, so let's do that. Knock those out, and the top of this board's gonna look phenomenal here in just a minute. Okay, so we'll go ahead and knock this out now. Let's put the positive here. Okay, there's a little bit of room for the signal there. Let's bring the ground out. There we go. All right, so our signal wire will get cut to go right there. Let's go ahead and mark that one. And then our ground will go right here and we'll mark that one like this. All right, so we'll tin both of these up. And this thing should come out looking like a champion here in just a minute. Perfect. Wow, look at that. I mean, these all these ones came out great on the top. I think they look great. I think they sit in there very well. 
Uh, I do have one signal pad left that I can use. So that's an actual signal pad, you know, like a designated motor pad. And that's gonna be up here, and that's what we were talking about earlier. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this around. Well, actually, you know what, no. I'll leave it right here because it makes sense to protect the wire on this side. So let me just bring that back. God darn it, get back here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lay that signal out here and I'll let the ground go here. I mean, I don't, here's E5 and E6. So I'm gonna end up crossing over the board anyway, it would appear, and I don't wanna run, I guess I could run under the board if I wanted to. I don't, I don't necessarily see a problem with that. So I should be able to clear that with no, yeah, that's fine. So I guess what we'll do is we're gonna twist these up really good, just like this. And I'll run this underneath. Awesome. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... I'm not comfortable with that at all. <laughs> now that I look at it, no, I'm, I'm going to be more comfortable laying it over the board. So, But we're still going to do the same thing. Is I'm going to bring this here. And I'm going to utilize the ground here, and I'll utilize the ground here for this one too. So we're going to get all of these to go right here, all right? And then we're going to have this one go right here. So let me just, I'm going to take the signal to here, and I'm going to bring the ground. We're just going to have this one unified ground right here for everything else, and I'm going to cut this one here. So let me do that real quick. Okay, let me strip that wire. And then at this point, after this, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go home, see my kids, see my wife, spend some time with the family. This gentleman has been extremely patient while I've been dealing with everything and I owe it to him to finish his drone here and make it look awesome. So I wanna make sure that I get this part done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tin up the following. I'll tin up the ground here. Let's get the ground pad ready. Okay, we'll get E5. Oh, I need to know if I put, I don't think I can do that. And then we'll get E5 and E6 and E4. So E4 will go here, just like I said. It's gonna be this wire right here. So I'm gonna drop that on there real quick. Just like that. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna take E5, I'm gonna take the ground, wrap it around it one more time if they can get without any problems. I can put the ground in there. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna jump that one to there. It's fine, so let's okay. This one, I'll twist this up a little bit. Uh, no, I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. I don't think I'm going to shorten this ground wire very much. I think I'm just going to leave it because we're going to have to kind of maneuver it around everything else. So let me just kind of, I don't want to cut it too short. OK. 
Okay, and then we have our last one right here. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut this one. I'm just gonna tin it. I don't want to cut this one too short either, because it's crossing over quite a few areas. And that didn't help me, did it? Okay, let's tin that up. Yeah, that's going to be way too long, so let me cut that. There we go, and then let me get the ground wire here. This will be the last one, then I'll tin, tin, you know, tin all three ground. Put those down. And come on. There we go. Heck, it's 5.30. Man, that sucks. All right. So let's tin up the ground. Now we got this ground to tin up. We got this ground to tin up here. And then we got this ground tin up here. Okay. So we'll start with the first one here that we did. So we'll go here, put this ground right on. There's one. How about the second one? No, oh, no, no. I don't want to pop off. Come on. There's two. Now we're going to bring that third signal or that sixth signal over. Let's lay that down. Right here, beautiful. And then let's put its ground over here as well. And guys, there you have it. That is one clean, clean, clean setup. Now, because I can't let this go without hearing it start up, and making sure we don't Make sure we don't have any problems. I've got to. I'm just curious now. So I'm going to go ahead and put an XT. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anything on here for right now. What do I have laying around? Whatever I have laying around is what I'm going to use. So uh, I don't. How do I not have something laying? Oh, here we go. I have an, oh, yeah, I have an XT30. And I'm going to use that for now. Obviously, this is just temporary. But I'm curious to hear tones. I hope you guys are too. So let's go ahead. to see what we got, right? Again, I'm just putting this on for the purpose of hearing tones. Nothing else, so don't freaking write me about it. How did you put an XT30? Just be quiet, it's just for this one spot. Now, before I do that, let's make sure that we're not gonna blow this damn thing up and that I I'm not going to blow up. Guys, I think it's ready to turn it on. My desk is a mess. I am so excited, though, to see if this thing really will kick on without issue. Then I will clean the desk up afterwards. And that's the front of it right there, so we'll go ahead and just lay it down like this. And that came out great. That came out great. Now, the only thing that'll make it really good is if it starts up nicely and doesn't give me any headaches. So here goes. Holy moly. And we are cooking with grease, guys. Everything looks great. Man, I'm pumped. So there you have it. Let me hold that up for y'all. All right, that is going to be the Hexamover. Uh, boards in so now what we're going to do is bring in the VTX get some things set up here and this sucker is going to be ready to program and fly uh, this is going to be beast mode man definitely beast mode right there I'm going to take a picture of this and I'll clean up my desk too but uh, I'm pretty pumped about this one right here so uh, I'll see you guys shortly and let me put it like this here we go let me turn everything off alright so listen this is going to be a pretty cool build 
Um, as I said before, guys, I'm, I'm kind of downsizing here. I am, I am getting out of the, not, not, not getting out of the retail side. I'm just getting out of the hustling of retail side. You know, I'm going to keep, I'm going to do things like this where I create the frames. Now this one I didn't create, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach the guy because I want to modify this, but I'd like his permission, make my own version of it. Um, and quite a few other things. Uh, oh, I don't, what is that? There we go. No, let's do that. Um, but, uh, at the same time, um, you know, it's like, this is exciting to me making the frames that I've made doing the testing that I'm doing and just getting out of the whole, Hey, can you pri can you beat this price by a dollar? I really don't want to play that game anymore. That's not fun for me. Um, you know, you guys, you guys love the country we live in and so do I. So nickel and diving me so that you could live better than me. Is it going to work? We all have to make our money. And, and those of us who take the risk of buying the product, trust me, it's a risk. Uh, <laughs> being nickel and dime for five bucks is just not worth my time. Um, and I'd rather just not have that client base anyway. So, but for the custom work and for work like what we're doing here, I mean, this is, this is fun to me. This is, this shows talent. It shows, you know, you get to be proud of what you do. You don't just sell. I mean, sell, anybody can sell. I like to do hands-on stuff. Uh, anyways, all right. Well, listen, that's it for now. So we're going to come back for another round. This is going to be a long video, obviously, um, this first part. And we're going to come back and, and do the next part of it. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, please, guys, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Please let your friends know. Let everybody know. Just subscribe. Hate me or like me. If you hate me, watch me and you can talk shit about me. And if you like me, watch me and you can talk good about me. Uh, but in other case, please subscribe. Um, and other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. I am going to see my boy. Boys and my wife right now and i will see you guys tomorrow peace